Hi Aquarius, welcome to March. New moon tonight, Mercury retrograde begins. Big stuff, big, big stuff. So, plus let's not forget the conjunction, Saturn, Pluto in your 12th house. <laughs> A lot of stuff. Okay, well, here we go. But it's all like wrapping up. You know, like this whole big era of your life coming to a close, reaching a point of finality. And it's even getting to the point of like any lingering in that stuff, whether it's a romantic thing or a business thing or just like a lifestyle choice, like any lingering in that stuff any longer. And it's just played. And I think you are getting fatigued even by the idea of continuing in that stuff. This is a card of fatigue, exhaustion. Because I know that you don't want to be like that person that plays the victim. Like that's not really your style, right? And if it continues on any longer, then you're like borderline on that person that likes to play martyr. So there's a recognition point coming through with all this stuff going on in the sky of like, my life needs to change either entirely or in this one area or with this one person or just spiritually or whatever, like this thing needs to evolve and it needs to evolve right now. And what better time than Pisces season to like let yourself get broken down, getting back to basics, back to like the minimum, whatever, the minimum of whatever. <laughs> get back to the foundational essence of who you really are. You know, and you'll feel liberated. I think the Saturnian nature of Aquarius, right? Because you're co-ruled by Saturn and Uranus. And the Saturnian nature has been really hot and heavy with you guys with Saturn in the 12th house, right? So the, the restrictedness and the confined nature and like being held back by the rules and back by you know, being held back by all the things that people expect of you, you know, it's just been, it's been a lot. And now it's time for you to like get back to the more liberated essence of, of who you are. And Knight of, of Coins is about slow, steady progression. You may feel a dragging going on. It's just the nature of the season. It won't last forever. It's only a few weeks. And especially like right now with the sun, like almost directly on top of Neptune, the next few days, it will kind of go away. And then it might come back as the sun connects with Chiron and Aries in early Aries season. So it's just going to have kind of a little bit of an up and down kind of thing. So the more consistent, the more stable, the more like one day at a time you can be and the more focused on the everyday life stuff, because all this is happening in your second house, which is a house of Taurus, you've got Mars in Taurus right now. So there's a lot going on in the home environment, a lot going on just kind of with the the administrative quality of life, you know, there's a lot to take care of. And so I think this card is coming out as a help like to be helpful. Here, Aquarius, be productive, you know, be um, detail oriented a little bit, you know, focus on the stuff, get the stuff done, get the stuff out of the way. So you may be dealing with a Virgo too. If you're dealing with a Virgo, let's talk about that as a flip side, this won't apply to everybody. But if you're dealing with a Virgo type of person, could be any sign, you know, they're also just kind of doing their thing. And in a way, they're even kind of letting you do your thing, like back turn to your 10 of swords, just like, all right, Aquarius, you let me know when you're done. And you can let me know and it is what it is, but I'm here. There's a stable essence here. They're they're present, they're not moving. But they're also not really bending over backwards to help you either. And I think there's a nature, the Virgo energy as a whole, they, I even said this in the reading for Virgo, I was like, it's not the most warm and fuzzy vibe coming from them. So don't depend on them. They'll still be there. They'll still do what they got to do. But they're not about to like coddle anybody right now. Okay, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> if you're not dealing with the Virgo, then you can disregard. Okay. 
Okay, Nine of Cups. It's about pride, dignity. Dignity being a real theme this month because I think a lot of people are going to be losing their dignity a little bit. Like, because they're making big mistakes. They're letting emotions just wash over them and they're like, ah, attacking problems and they're not like doing the Pisces chill thing. They're not maintaining a sense of like, they're not keeping their awareness in its like royal throne where it belongs. They're like throwing it out at people. They're throwing it out in into circumstances and dramatic situations. And they're trying to find that validation, you know, kind of thing. But the more composed you can be Aquarius, that's all is just going to be so easy. It's all going to be so easy. It's like not even a problem. All this worry about what's heck, it's not. It's not a thing. And um, I see you handling things very well and being very mature in nature. I just happen to see the sun at the bottom of the deck too. So there you go, right? It's all so beautiful. So whatever issues you're having, whatever this other person is doing, whatever your boss is doing, whatever your friends are saying, like it's so irrelevant. And it is only a mirror of their own problems. That's it. It's only a mirror of their own problems. I think happily Aquarius sits here of like, okay, yes, I'm, I'm over. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of exerting effort. I'm tired of exerting any thought. And I just like, I, I need to eject. And maybe there's even a hermit mode quality coming through for you too. Of like, I got to go inside for a minute. Like I got to do my whole like recuperation, regroup kind of thing and kind of get my myself in order so that I can interact in the world like a normal productive person you know and that's fine do what you got to do Pisces second house that's lazy placements it's like sleepy time it's like relaxing indulging Netflix eating you know kind of like maybe being a little unhealthy but just like being relaxed with all these rigid rules that we put on ourselves you know Communication, probably not the best right now. Um, there is a nature of like stalking sometimes when I see, I hate to put that out there because I know that's not going to apply to everybody, but either someone's watching you or you're watching them paying attention but not communicating and if there is any communication, it's probably really short, extraordinarily high level. It's not nitty gritty. It's not down to the earth and raw and productive. It's all like, let's beat around the bush. Oh, I just knocked this one off the top. Beautiful. We'll talk about that in just a second. Coming out in the center of the reading. Um, you know, it's about beating around the bush. And whatever issues are present, they're not being addressed. And that could prove to be problematic for some people. And honestly, your level of fluidity and your ability to just like kind of brush it off, because again, you're not going to indulge in it because any more indulgence in the whole thing is just going to add to like more and you're like, so over it. And that's going to be infuriating for certain people. Your ability to kind of just maybe, whether it's not caring or your ability to just keep it self-contained, um, your ability to not really talk about it. And I'm not saying repress the stuff, but you know, like when you talk about stuff, especially in kind of a venting or a complaining kind of way, it just adds the negativity of the whole thing. So if you're going to talk about it, it better be productive. And I don't know that other people are wanting to be productive. So that's why you're being so self-contained and therefore they get annoyed. So it is this whole like vicious kind of cycle thing. You may also be having people connect with you or contact with you in a very annoying kind of way. A lot of text messages, a lot of people reaching out, a lot of people like, hey, want to hang out? I want to see you. I miss you. Da, 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 da. And these are all people from the past, people from way back there, you know, and you're like, man, like I got to, I have a whole new thing in front of me. I don't want to engage. And again, it's kind of fueling the fire anymore by you going in the other direction, by you moving forward. People not doing well with people's self-sufficiency right now and you seem to be radiating self-sufficiency 
just complete independence. It's second house stuff. It kind of makes sense, actually. Uh, house of self-reliance, Mars and Taurus, you know, like you're just doing your thing, period. It's not like you don't still love people. It's not like you don't still care. You're just doing your own thing. You're growing, you're achieving, you're learning, you're creating, you're contributing, and you have a lot. But you're also going to be selective about whom you choose to dedicate time and energy to. People like this who are just kind of in and out and flaky and, you know, they're not going to be worth it. And it's not worth your time. And if you are dealing with someone who's like kind of letting you like, great, you do your thing. I'll do my thing. Because you do still need to like, you know heal and rest and deal with this, you know, and let that kind of pass you by. So someone important seems to be letting you do that. You seem to be allowing space for yourself to do that. And anyone else can just kind of go screw off. You know, anyone else can just like, eh. they can just come in and out and like, whatever, it doesn't even matter. People who are cross watching because you're dealing with an Aquarius right now, if they're kind of brushing you off and not engaging with you, like don't touch, like just Go away for a while, right? I don't care how much you love them. I don't care how much you care about them. Like they're just dealing with their Ten of Swords. And Aquarians, they tend to disappear when they go through stuff like that. And that's fine. It's just their own way of coping. It's their own way of healing, their own way of dealing. It's one of the reasons why it's, it's you know, Aquarius is a difficult sign to engage with because of that reason, because they do need a lot of alone time. They do need their space as much as they need the social component as well. Um, with Venus in Aquarius too, there is a lot of attention and energy being drawn toward Aquarians as well. So see, fun, going out, doing your thing. There's nothing serious Weirdly enough, there's nothing serious about this. Um, we'll clarify this, though, in the comprehensive. Just kind of see what comes out. Any kind of in energy or messages you need to know about that. Um, be careful of how much you're consuming. If it's an, an unhealthy kind of thing, right? How much alcohol, how much sugar, how much caffeine, how much smoking, how much... Um, you know, any kind of self-medication that you're doing, just be careful. Don't overdo it. Do what you want. You're a free person. I don't really care. But, you know, just pay attention to your own health. Pay attention to your social circles, any gossiping that's going on. Just like you don't really need to engage. Enjoy the company of the people that really lift you up, that enhance your creativity, that support you, the people that are going to be your cheerleaders, probably not this person if it's an external person <laughs> definitely not these kind of people right these flaky kind of non-consistent people but if you have bffs and business consultants and you know life coaches or whatever you guys have got you know lean on those people enjoy your time with them ask them to help you grow and ask how you can help them grow right enjoy the reciprocity of that energy okay beautiful Super light reading for you guys. And I know Aquarius has been like, where's my Aquarius reading? Where's the Aquarius reading? So whatever intensity you're experiencing, well, we'll see what the rest of the cards come out to say. But as far as I can see, there's really not a lot to be very intense about. If it, if it is, it's all up in here. And it's an attachment of some kind that's really ready to let go. This is a card of humility. It's a card of intelligence, clarity, truth, speaking very truthfully. Again, not a warm and fuzzy card coming out. If you're taking on the energy, like the Virgo kind of vibe, which doesn't really make sense because we have nothing going on in Virgo at all. But how, however, Virgo and Aquarius very connected like intellectually. Okay, so this particular archetype speaking for your energy here. Maybe Aquarius too, not being super warm and fuzzy. Maybe Aquarius being a little bit prickly and a little bit cool as well. Um, out of, you know, out of preservation, self-preservation, out of self, like I got to keep my nine of coins and it's not in a selfish way. It's that maybe you've been drained recently in the past. Someone took from you, someone stole from you. So it's about 
okay, I got to get my reserves back up. So there is a selfish quality about Aquarius right now. But so again, like if you're dealing with an Aquarius and you're like, what the heck is going on with my Aquarius? You just got to let them heal and they cannot be pushed. The minute you try to put an Aquarius in a box, like please, they're going to run so fast the other direction. Like they don't like that. No expect no expectations of your Aquarius friends right now. <laughs> your Aquarius lovers, just like let them be. Um, and Aquarius like too, you know, if you need to communicate with people and let them know like, hey, I'm going to disappear for a month, <laughs> like just FYI, probably not going to hear from me. I love you. You're still in my life. I care about you, but I'm, I'm trying to like work stuff out, right? Be honest. If it hurts someone's feelings, it's fine. People can have hurt feelings. We all need to stop being so sensitive, right? If they get offended, fine. Let them get offended. We all need to stop being so sensitive. Um, especially when you're communicating something that you need. If this person that doesn't accept what you need, that's a whole different thing in and of itself, right? But people that love you, people that care about you, people that want to see you well, like they're like, okay, yeah, sure, go for it. Like, yeah, please, sure, do what you got to do. Go, go, be, go be Aquarian. <laughs> That's what we love about you. Queen of Cups reversed. There are messages of hurt feelings, okay? Um... I think the Ace of Swords, you know, it, it is a little bit, it, like I said, it can be harsh. So it's not a teddy bear. It's made of iron. It's made of steel, whatever it is. It's sharp. It's pointed. It's poignant, right? So be aware that emotions are really high right now for everybody, so you can speak your truth, but you don't have to be an asshole about it, <laughs> okay? Um, we'll clarify the Queen of Cups in the comprehensive to get more information, but it's also reminiscent of your own kind of drainage, right? Like the, 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 the well is sort of drying up. It's so important, right? Because if you keep going in this particular direction and you keep allowing something from the past to stay alive that well will be dry and then the breakdown or the 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 stress and the tension will just be amplified that much more it's important for you to recognize that something is at a ten of swords right and there's trying to be a breakthrough you're trying to turn over that new wheel. Ace of Swords breaks the Ten of Swords cycle, introducing a whole new realm of possibility. But you have to let the cycle turn over too. It's when we cling that causes so much distress and so much, so many issues. I think your independence right now and like what you're needing in terms of personal space, in terms of quiet, in terms of just like time to ponder and time to think, it is putting a wedge between you and the people that really love you and really care about you. That's why communicating and just telling them like, hey, I need, I need what I need is going to be important. Otherwise, they're just going to like, they're just going to push harder and they're just going to try even harder. So you know, speak. Don't beat around the bush. Don't you be the one that's beating around the bush. As just a word of advice. Don't be the one that's beating around the bush. Okay? There is still someone that cares and loves about, loves you very much. Those are not the people to push away right now. Your own spiritual evolution is top priority. Hopefully other people can vibe with that. Hopefully other people can understand that. Um, there are certain signs that are acting very out of character right now, right? The fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. All the readings were like, fire is acting weird, okay? Water is all in their whole thing. 
air I think is feeling emotional but there's also like a carefreeness to the whole thing and earth is feeling very insecure right now okay so whichever kind of sign you're dealing with you need to deal with them in a specific kind of way understanding that they're acting weird right everyone kind of out of character your spiritual evolution first and foremost priority um for you let me put the camera down i'm gonna do what we always do now i'm gonna pull the clarifiers let me turn the camera over though so y'all can see okay now i've been using a different deck if you've watched any of my other videos you'll know and it's called the tatha thoth deck and it's very famous it's a very old deck knight of coins again and the king of coins okay so we're getting a virgo duplicate and we're getting a taurus card so two earths oh interesting how earthy it is yeah um why am i i'm like really feeling like this is you guys really feeling like it's you I think you're the one that has the mobility. You're the one that has the freedom and the agility and the adaptability this month because you're needing it because you're breaking a cycle, right? So whenever that happens and there's this major turnover in our psychology, in our spirituality, we need to be flexible. And while major changes might not be happening right now, at any moment, boom, something can happen and you'll, you'll have that ability to like take off and go. That's the quality of the horse, right? The mutability. And there is a king or a queen in your life. Very present. Man, do they care about you. Man, do they care about you? Do you know that they care about you? Like, do you know this? Are you aware of how much they love you? Are you aware of what they're capable of giving you? Um, I think this person is, is hurt. Please know that they are hurt. You might be feeling hurt as well. Like maybe there's more to this story that's not showing up in the cards. Maybe something happened. Maybe there was like an argument or whatever. And, you know, whatever the case is, it's fine. But emotions are being felt, but no one seems to be expressing them in a, in a beneficial way. I know you're needing to process. That's what the king, the knight of coins is really all about is processing even the the king of coins too also very big on processing and takes a really long time to process so everything is just really up in the air right now um again something to communicate hey i love you but i need to process <laughs> you know you might not hear from me for a couple of weeks i just need to think about it you will hear from me what this person needs is reassurance they can't handle very well um the pick up and go kind of thing on the horse even though you're not going anywhere it's important for them to know like you're not going anywhere this is the horse that's standing still but it's like it's the option and I, I'm wondering if someone can sense that Aquarius is like one foot in one foot out on something romantically business deal whatever they can feel it right they can feel it they can sense it and I think that's why that's the king of queen the queen of cups is um upside down intuitively she knows but on some level she's rejecting her intuition too and um while it's great that you're out and you're doing really healthy things and you're really taking care of yourself you know just make sure that you're not um hurting anyone in that process that's why honesty is important. I don't know that a lot of people are going to be able to handle honesty, though. It's going to be hard. Like, it's a tricky game. Like, you're walking on a really fine line right now. And just know that 
it will be better in the long run that you'd rather hurt someone's feelings. Rather hurt someone's feelings than keep yourself in the Ten of Swords. I'm sorry, you're just kind of in between a rock and a hard place right now. I don't know what else to say. Okay, so these are the... Okay, well, I wasn't really clarifying anything. I guess we'll take them, it's fine. I'll just kind of keep them off to the side. Um, these are the cards that I'll be using to clarify in the comprehensive, but just to kind of give you guys a little preview of what cards we'll cover and what we'll talk about. Clearly a breakdown in a connection, right? Feelings of rejection, sadness. Maybe you, Aquarius, were rejected as well, and so you're needing to to hermit. Okay, fine, right? Let's look at the, the Knight of Coins. Let's see what that's all about. The first Knight of Coins. Yeah, it's a point of reconsideration. It's important for people to know that you're in a period of re-evaluation because something, and there's the card of Aquarius. So definitely the Knight of Coins is you, okay? Again, very prickly, very cool energy. Waiting for things to evening to even out. Okay, makes sense. Let's look at the Nine of Cups. A lot of nines. Self-preservation, right? A lot of self-preservation. Emotional movement, emotional transition. You got to the nine because you had the eight. A lot of people trying to give you stuff right now. Let's look at the Page of Swords reversed. Mm. Are you the one that's giving the consolation prize? Careful that you're not leading anybody on. I'm not saying that Aquarius is in the wrong here. I'm just like, I just feel like you're unattainable to people right now and people aren't going to vibe with that. <laughs> like they're, they're going to be like, no, -uh, this is not acceptable, Aquarius. I mean, you got to do what you got to do, but um, other people just, they're not going to understand. Yikes, so many cards coming through. Okay. Let's look at the three of cups. Let's just pull one for that. Yeah, careful of your friend group. Friends can be somewhat problematic right now because they just have too many opinions. Oh, that's beautiful. Too many opinions, too many ideas, and they just like they they just want to interject too much. You know, they just want to like tell you what to do too much. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the Knight of Discs again. I know I already clarified it, but we'll still clarify it again. All right. And then the King of Coins. This person's definitely connected with the Queen of Cups reversed. Okay. And... There is something conditional about what's going on. There is an expiration date on certain things. And their consistency and their presence in your life might not continue for that much longer. Some of you, that's what you want, right? You want them to fade away into the background naturally and organically. Some of you, you don't want that. And this season could be a determining factor of how this really goes. If this person is the cause for the Ten of Swords, please know that it really is coming to a close. Even though there is some sadness around the whole thing, it is going to be for the best. Okay? Um, but it's for the sake of really opening up new opportunities too. You know? Not only is it like, okay, we've got the whole sun neptune thing and whatever but like you know the sun in pisces it's the end of the year you know we're starting a whole new year a whole new solar calendar so so it is a beautiful time for closure so it makes sense that that's kind of what this reading is really all about closure closing things out closing out connections closing out the ten of swords so so yeah 
Um, yeah, I'm going to leave you guys there. If you want to check out the comprehensive, the link will be down below. We'll talk about everything. And if not, then have a good month. Take care of yourself. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.